Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here on a wet Thursday and got a great Class A motorhome we're going to shoot it, uh, look at today. Today, let's review a 2007 National RV Seabreeze. This is a Model 1350, one of my favorite brands to film and, and definitely uh, on the higher end scale of a Class A gas. Uh, today, like I said, we're going to look at this 07 1350 National Seabreeze. Total length bumper to bumper is 35 feet, one inches long. Has two slide outs, 36,000 miles, built on a Ford F53 chassis with the 6.8 Triton V10 with 362 horsepower. Got a 5500 on end uh, generator running right now, powering everything inside. Motor home is running, dash air is cold. Guys, this is, this is a nice motor home and it's priced under $45,000. Now guys, I know unless you've been in RVs for several years like me, a lot of you probably never heard of National RV. At one time, they were the fourth largest RV manufacturer in the world. And they are on par quality-wise with a Newmar or a Tiffin. I mean, these are not a cheap built model. In fact, this thing brand new in 07 costs the same as, as what you could buy an entry-level diesel Class A for, diesel pusher Class A. So these are not cheap. You know, they cost, National concentrated more on quality than quantity. And uh, of course that wind up being their demise because they pretty much priced themselves out of the market during the recession. But they were in business for 40 some odd years. And this is a Seabreeze 1350. It's in excellent condition. Now, I want to warn you before I go inside, the previous owners have made so I did some remodeling on it. So you might love it, you might hate it. Kind of grows on you a little bit. Um, but it get, definitely gives it a unique interior space. I uh, got a hitch on the back with a 5,000 pound tow capacity. Uh, of course, you know, the National RV's claim to fame was what they call the Duraframe. You know, all RV's have a steel chassis on the bottom. But National was one of the few that actually put tubular steel construction instead of aluminum and tubular steel on the side walls, the ceiling and the roof and the floor. So less metal fatigue than aluminum because most RVs are aluminum framed with steel and like the cab and the critical areas. This is all steel. Makes them a little heavier, a lot more expensive to build that way but you've got a better ride and drive. You've got less sway, a more rigid frame, less squeaks and rattles, and very few manufacturers use all steel frame. Uh, one of the most famous, as most of you know, is the world's safest motorhome, and that's Born Free. And of course, they build Class Cs. This is a Class A. Fiber, uh, crown fiberglass roof, one of the most strongest roofs in the industry. Um, like I said, they were quality-wise top-notch. They, uh, but they were priced accordingly. But you know, it's like anything else in life you get. You get what you paid for, just like anything else in life. You know, you want a $10 steak dinner, or do you want a $100 steak dinner? Which one's gonna taste the best? <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, um, Got a patio awning, full pass-through storage. Let's look inside and I'll show you what they've done as far as customization. Um, well, they have wallpapered all the walls in it. Well, not all of them, but the most of them with this kind of a log cabin -y plank style uh, wallpaper, which they actually did. Now, let me go ahead and add this, guys. As far as actually putting it on, they did a fantastic job. Um, I mean, literally, guys, they they either did this themselves and they were professionals, or they hired professionals to do this. Because, you know, if, if you didn't, if I didn't know better, you didn't know better, you would think this was factory by the way it was put on. But they have done that and they have put in because it would have had carpet through here, just like what's in the slide out, which the little bit of carpet that's left in here is in great shape. 
but they have put a vinyl floor what do you call it perco floor that that vinyl style wood and it actually the colors actually mesh pretty good um but like i said this, this is going to be one of those things you're going to love the interior or you're going to hate it so let me know in the comments below what you think um it grows on you i didn't like it at first but you know i was in here i was cranking everything up turning it on it literally just come in we haven't cleaned it we have it they just parked it 30 minutes ago my driver's did for picking it up this is how it came in and this is probably one of the cleanest ones we've had in a while that just came in but um you know i've got the air conditioners on i've got the generator running air conditioners are ice cold uh, refrigerator's on i'm letting it get down where i can see if it works or not but we'll start here at the front cab thirty-six thousand nine hundred and eighty-nine miles so miles like thirty-seven thousand miles front seats look great they both swivel for party seating like i did with the passenger seat and the reason why i did that guys because it's got a fold-up table right here, and people think, well, it's supposed to have a chair there. Well, if it had a chair there, you couldn't use your table. This is how that table's meant to be operated, is swivel the passenger seat around and use this for an extra seat for eating or for an office or, or, or whatever you need to use it for. And then you swivel it back around if you want to face forward when you're going down the road. Um, dash looks great. There's no smoke or pet odors in this thing. No signs of water damage anywhere. No mildew odors. It's got a curtain that goes all the way around the cab. So at nighttime, you're not giving up part of your cab for privacy. You have a flat screen TV. What do we got here? It looks like they left the original uh, Toshiba VCR DVD player. Now, the, this couch, I don't believe is factory, but I look at it, it's still a sleeper sofa. So it actually folds out and makes almost a queen size bed, but that's not factory. Um, but I'm gonna leave it in there, cause you know, why not? I don't see any need to change that out. Uh, table booth is gonna fold out, make an additional bed. Solid wood cabinets. I mean, guys, you're talking about something brand new in 2007 was right around 120 grand. And uh, considering how much new RV prices have gone up, uh, it would be closer to 200 now if they still built them. So the quality level is top notch as far as build quality. You've got Corian countertops with no stress cracks. You've got three burner stove top. You've got a microwave convection oven. And again, guys, let me remind you, this is how it just came in. We haven't cleaned it yet. Uh, in fact, I, I put the rooms out myself and I hadn't even parked it in line yet. Now, one thing, let me point this out. I just seen it when the light hit it just right. There, it looks like somebody dropped the stove top cover at one time and glued it back. So there's a few little cracks in it, but that's, and I'm very familiar with that because I've seen it on hundreds of coaches. That's just where somebody dropped one of these Corian uh, stove top covers and it broke. And you'll never be able to replace that, at least not exactly like this. So that's your only, really only thing you can do. But like I said, until the light hits it at a certain angle, you don't even see that. Looks like they've added a ceramic tile backsplash. Um, big residential size double basin sink stainless steel these aren't broke sprayer all that good stuff again guys very nice cabinetry you can see what the walls used to look like um, before they added that new wallpaper pretty good amount of storage in this thing um you know because it doesn't have a traditional gas oven it's got this electric convection oven then you get extra storage space down here for pots and pans and dishes or whatever um refrigerator's an eight cubic foot this is a dometic and it's actually clean because we haven't cleaned it up yet and i'm starting it's starting to get cool back there 
so i'm gonna leave that on so i can make double sure it is because usually guys when the back of the freezer start getting cold 99 percent of the time the rest of the refrigerator is absolutely fine and uh just came in it's clean cleaner than a lot of the other ones i've had lately this is a nice rig you know it's the build qualities there you've got the dura frame you've got the fiberglass roof i like the side hall bathroom uh going to the bedroom and the bathroom and the side because this way when you're in the back getting ready or taking a nap or whatever you forget to close the door nobody can see directly back there so you still have some privacy even with the door open uh you know if i had to fault it looks like and this is very common on one of this age uh they used uh back then they used a dual pane window and it had nitrogen gas in between the two frames of glass held in with a rubber gasket well over time that rubber gasket basically leaks the nitrogen out and leaks air in and causes it to cloud over like that is there a way to fix that no well, not without replacing the whole window so and it looks like a here a little bit on right here and the rest of them look okay so there is two or three windows that have that which you know shouldn't affect you using this in any way shape form or fashion slide controls are right here this is your uh one of your thermostat the other one's toward the front for your second ac it's got two 13.5 or probably more if i know national it's probably got a front 15,000 and a rear 13.5 uh, on the on the roof airs which do a fantastic job keeping it cool we look in here guys looks like they did change the toilet this would have came factory with a dometic sea land toilet china rv toilet uh looks like they just stuck a cheap plastic toilet with a high rise on it um i mean it will work just fine but you know like i was saying i always recommend upgrading your toilet to a china rv toilet when you can um glassed in shower this is a walkthrough bath glassed in shower that's a good sign right there guys see the, how this is all bright white as uv rays come through the skylight over the years if this thing is left exposed to the elements it actually bleaches this white uh in here a bright yellow so if you want to tell if one's been stored outside which wouldn't hurt it on this one as bad as other ones because it's a fiberglass roof this will turn a bright yellow and there's no way to disguise that this one's still bright white so right there tells me at least the majority of its life it's been kept under cover another little trick i like to use guys is uh, anytime there's wallpaper border because this is the original walls this hasn't been modified in here um and this is the original wallpaper border i recognize it guys when you see this wallpaper border and it's not peeling around the edges that means this thing hasn't been stored in hot weather uh closed up with no ventilation because what happens is if you take this thing say down in florida in the summertime and store it that heat and humidity is going to make the edges of this wallpaper border peel and the fact there's no peeling on this even though it's a 2007 it's 15 or 14 15 years old that's a good sign that this thing's been been kept in climate controlled storage or out of the extreme hot weather and um like i said you can get to the bedroom from the hallway or the bathroom and you've got another residential style door here big bedroom back here guys very cozy queen island bed 60 by 80 queen bed which is a house queen not a camper queen got a second ac in here and at the foot of the bed huge closet tv storage underneath or storage underneath the bed you've got individual reading lamps um big mirror on the back a lot of mirrors in here i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing <laughs> looks like uh that's something somebody's built right there let's see what else we got here and i just anytime one of these things is custom i kind of open up some stuff and see what, if they've done anything different with it everything back here besides that cabinet drawer looks factory uh you've got some 
the drawers that come out here that was probably been added um by the yeah this is not factory that's been added by the uh, previous owners which you can take all that out if you want to i mean everything in this coach guys is clean there's no bad odors in it um this is nice especially for the price as y'all know class a motor used class a's under 50 grand are hot right now and this seems to be the price range everybody's wanting and this is actually honestly you know i've been shooting several of them over the past few days class a i honestly i this is my favorite of the bunch that i've shot in the last i don't know four or five days in the class a's this is this is my favorite my current favorite um in other words guys if i was going to buy one of the ones under 50 grand this is probably be my pick even though there's some that are higher and some that are a couple years newer i just i know these nationals i know the build quality i mean i'm confident in the build quality i know these this has been a well cared for coach you know like i said this may not have been the color wall text i would have picked out if i was going to remodel one but like i said it grows on you and you can always change this later on if you want to put a different sofa in here you're welcome to if you want to put a different paper on the walls you're welcome to it's your rv you can do what you want to with it um i wouldn't get too crazy with it but even that table is solid surface corian countertop wow um fantastic vent fan you see how thick that roof is this is a very well insulated roof all the roof trusses are steel you know they didn't use aluminum lightweight aluminum they use steel so i mean it's heavy it's strong uh heaven forbid if you ever do get into an accident one day in a class a i would rather be in a national than any other brand out there and i'm and even above the high-end diesel pushers i would rather be in a national rv if i had to if i had the choice <laughs> in being in a uh, bad accident in a class a i'd rather be one of these uh just because i know how strong these are built um anyway uh, this unit is an 07 1350 Seabreeze by National RV. It is 44.9. Um, I pretty much checked it out for you guys. The generator runs great. The air conditioners are ice cold. Refrigerator. I'm gonna check it here toward the end of the video. See if it's getting cold in the freezer. But I'm fairly certain, based on the rest, the condition of the rest of the RV, that thing's fine. But I'll make sure. And we do guarantee, guys. Even though we're selling these on a limited check, we still guarantee when you pick it up that the generator roof airs refrigerator freezer works like they're supposed to and the slides so don't worry about that these actually have hydraulic slides in them and you know guys don't get me wrong i, I like the newer rvs they're great but they severely lack the build quality that these in this era have and before um if that makes sense i mean yeah they have more technology this thing may not have a 10 inch screen and digital gauges and uh, may not have wi-fi extenders and cell phone boosters and all that good stuff and solar and big inverters and lithium ion batteries and all that stuff guys but it's got the build quality um this is something right here that'll be around a lot longer than the new ones and um you know, there, there's something to that old saying they don't build them like they used to hey don't get me wrong i i love the style of the new rvs i just i'm not crazy about i question the you know I, in other words guys i question how a 2021 model is going to look in 15 years compared to what this one looks like today and i have my doubts that it that, that it's going to survive and look this good after 15 years i may be wrong and hopefully i am but for those that have bought new rvs but i you know i i seriously doubt that the 2021s are going to look this good after 15 years like this 2007 does good low miles dash air is cold you know my drivers of course you know these things drive great because they're so heavy um and it's got the still got the 362 horsepower motor so definitely get you down the highway i mean it as fast as you'd want to go in a vehicle this size and this heavy 
but guys this unit 44.9 haggle free firm like i said we'll make sure those major things work which they do um you can come do your own inspection on it let us know you're coming we'll plug it into shore power or crank the generator up and let the fridge and freezer stay on for a little bit before you get here because as most of you know these things take about six to eight hours to get to operating temperature now after about an hour hour and a half two hours usually you can tell if the freezer is getting cold but if you want to see the refrigerator because all that has to trickle down to the refrigerator it's going to take it several hours so um you know that's why you if you want to see it work you always want to call make an appointment so they can plug it into power or crank a generator let it run and have that cold for you and it'll also run off propane as well um i like it let me know what you think about it in the comments guys uh feel free to smash me a thumbs up if you like the video comment share on social media uh make sure guys if you haven't hit that subscribe button you're missing out guys you're missing out on one of the best in my humble opinion one of the best youtube channels for rvs on the internet because i actually review used rvs you know let somebody else spend 200 grand on a brand new one that'll be worth that'll be worth what this one's worth 15 years from now let them do that guys this is something that you can afford that i still have financing for with approved credit and down payment that's well built well cared for and great build quality um and guys it's uh it's nice and you can change out this decor if you don't like it guys take it home you put carpet in it and change linoleum uh be careful putting hardwood in here because a lot of times these slide outs are so tight they'll scrape hardwood floors when you bring your rooms in and out so you have to be really careful about putting hardwood in a lot of the class especially the higher end class a's because they're so well engineered that uh and i've seen people do i've seen people spend fifteen hundred two thousand dollars on a beautiful hardwood floor and the first time they bring the room in crunch and you got a gash on both sides of the slide out coming in from that uh, hardwood floor <coughs> so do be careful doing that but guys um this is a nice rig honestly this one is my favorite I, I don't think this one will be available long national rv for those that know this brand they almost have a cult like following they're like i said they're on par or, or, or honestly probably above a newmar or tiffin in this era of gas class a motorhomes and um man they're just they're just great motorhomes um anyway Thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. And keep in mind, guys, that 44.9 is a haggle-free firm price. But unlike other RV dealerships, I have no fees. I have no dock fees, no prep fees, no processing fees, no happy camper fees, no freight fees. 44.9 plus applicable sales tax. That's it. Now I do have to disclose that if you are a Georgia resident, state says I have to charge this. I paid it out of pocket for years, but now. They're making you pay it, and I have to show it on the bill of sale. You do have to pay a $100 highway impact fee and a $40 to $50 tag and title fee if you're a Georgia resident only. Out of state, don't worry about it. You don't have to pay any of that. Um, Fox said financing is available with approved credit and down payment. Call us for the up-to-date information on that. Let's feel the back of this, and it is getting cold. I can definitely verify that, so... Um, don't worry about that. It works. Ready to go when you are. Come pay for it. Take it home the same day. 706-965-7929. Uh, call before coming to look to make sure somebody else hasn't beat you to it. Um, this is one of those rigs that somebody can make a five-minute phone call with a credit card and it's off the market. So um, keep that in mind. There are people that look for national RVs and you know they didn't build that many of these new compared to the other guys so when the one hits the used market even in this graded condition with low miles it's it's going to be highly sought after and probably this one of those motor homes there's a lot more people looking for them than there are available to buy but anyway guys and look at the carpet on the uh, doghouse cover guys that's original carpet look how clean it is 
I like that big uh, stereo right there. That's a good idea. Huh. I like it the more I look at it, guys. Every time I look at something, I see something else I like. We've got the air lift, air suspension. I just noticed that. So you can adjust your air suspension. In case you're towing something, you can firm it up or soften it up if you want a better ride. Huh. I'm telling you guys, I like it. Quality. That's that's what it is, quality. Thank you again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And um, if you got questions, our phone number again, 706-965-7929. Again, we offer financing with approved credit and down payment. We also offer show you right here this is i i actually like this setup myself but this is how i operated a lot in my winnebago when i had it uh this is a great this is the table i like to sit at because uh, i had something here you know i could put my laptop here or whatever and uh can still see everybody and lean back it's like a recliner i mean uh this is a good seat right here but anyway guys you know when i wasn't outside To me, this is more comfortable than the sofa. But anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching. Again, smash me a thumbs up if you like the video. Feel free to comment, share, subscribe. Um, oh, that air feels good too, especially that dash air on my back. Um, and I do like the duct work in here too. Notice there's a lot of duct work in here uh, to help distribute the air. So you can cool this thing off pretty quick with both those ACs going. But guys, again, thank you for watching. If you need delivery, give us a call. We'll give you a quote for delivery. Um, we deliver nationwide. And pretty much all we ask you to do is reimburse us the cost. And whatever it costs to bring it to you and get my driver back home. But uh, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I appreciate my almost 30,000 subscribers. Took a long time to get to this point, guys. And I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I've, I've a lot of hard work thousands of videos to get to where we're at today and um but thank you again for watching appreciate it appreciate all y'all look forward to seeing you here beautiful ringgold georgia